In this video tutorial we'll be making a kind of crazy FX transition using the LFO and the patch bay within Alto CM and it will sound something like this. So firstly let's load an instance of Alto CM onto a track and we're going to start with the default patch which is a basic sine wave. All of the modules within Alto CM have inputs and outputs and these can be connected with the patch bay just by clicking and dragging and then adjusting the input level dial just like this. This will apply more or less of the signal to that module. So we'll go back to the default patch and we're going to be using our keyboard's modulation wheel which the uh, output for that is uh, this node here. The level of the modulation wheel will be set to control some of the parameters of the sound so we'll connect that up now. We just click and drag from the modulation output to the level and the frequency inputs in the LFO panel just here. And we'll set the input level of uh, the LFO to around 3 o'clock and we'll push that frequency to max. Now at the moment you won't be able to hear any difference because we haven't actually assigned the LFO to control any perimeters. So we'll take a cable out of the LFO module and push that into the pitch input. Now when we push the modulation wheel up we should hear the pitching change. Keep your eye on the level and the frequency dials just here to see what's happening. So let's set the input of the pitch to uh, around about 2 o'clock just for a slightly more pronounced effect and we'll use the LFO output here just to drive a few more modules so we can play with the sound a bit more. We'll drag another cable from the LFO output node to the complex oscillator timbre input dial. That's just here. And we'll set that at maximum input level. We'll also drag two more cables to the pan and reverb controls in the output module. Reverb's here. And pan just here. We'll set these at maximum level 2 and this should result in a crazy kind of ping pong stereo effect as the LFO will control the timbre, the pitching, the reverb and the pan at the same time. You can hear that effect become more pronounced as you push the mod wheel up. So one of the nice things about Alto CM as a synth is that the patcher can be used to feed the output of various modules back into themselves and this trick works particularly well with the sequencer and LFO modules. So we'll connect the output of the LFO to its own level input and that will cause a kind of feedback loop. This will mean that the LFO now produces a much stronger output back into itself feeding all the other modules as well. 